Yeah, Africa has treated us well and been good so far. Uh, the hotel has been fine uh, and the Cameroonis have, have done whatever they, they can to make the best, to pr provide us with uh, good facilities, uh, etc. So they have been really helpful uh, and tried to make life as easy for us uh, here in Cameroon. So credit to the Cameroonis. Yes, we have had four days of training. Um, a late arrival uh, made us lose uh, one day of, of, of training. Um, yeah, we, we had the first two days uh, defensive trainings uh, and yesterday was attack um, and then today was a, a normal stadium training. So all of these days we have had two meetings and one training session. So we've tried to maximize what we can with the players. Um, but we have to be really careful when when we are traveling such a long distance. Uh, so we, we cannot overload the players, especially uh, phys physically. So, uh, yeah, but I think we have maximized what we can do in these four days. Regarding the local players, uh, I think we have an, a group of, of honest guys uh, who are really trying the best uh, and, and it should be really respected. They, they made a long journey to play and represent their country. So I give them a lot of credit, a lot of respect for doing this. Um, it's going to be tough match for them. Uh, and, and again, just give them credit for for working hard on trainings, being um, being professional in taking on board the things that we have we have put forward. Uh, yeah, and, and and they have been they have been professional in, in everything they have been doing so far. But then we will see tomorrow how how, how the the game will be played. But we, but overall, I think I can give them only credit for the time until now. Cameroon, the national team that will be facing us uh, tomorrow. Uh, of course, it's local players. It's not the not the team that will be going to the World Cup. Uh, but I can for sure say uh, that the league, the Cameroon, the league here in Cameroon is is, is really strong. Um, uh, I don't have ha have any calculations, but. I, is my feeling that is it's much stronger than the the league in Jamaica, uh, and the thing is for those guys now before this camp, uh, uh, the the coach of Cameroon, Rigobor Song, said that he would pick three players from this local squad to go with him to the World Cup in Qatar. So they have a lot to fight for. They have a lot uh, to show. Um, and, and we will be facing a highly motivated group of players uh, tomorrow. Um, uh, it's a lot of hype uh, here in Cameroon for, for the national team, for the World Cup that is coming, coming up. Uh, a lot of support. So we will face probably tomorrow not only highly motivated opponents with individual skills, we will also face uh, a big support, a lot of people uh, supporting them and and uh, giving them a good farewell to Qatar. Uh, the team in general, uh, the players are, are physical, they are aggressive, It's uh, it, they're fast, so I, I think we will be, we will be like facing uh, a, a, a very strong highly motivated group of guys. So th that, that is going to be a real test for for our local players. Is this uh, match, we will approach it like like every other match. Uh, we don't prepare any any less than for a, a normal or an official match. We, we try to keep the same way of working, uh, keep the same way of preparing. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's is going to be interested 
how how we will cope with the, the Cameroonian the team and the circumstances, the, the atmosphere. It also will be interesting to see the our local players um, faced uh, against these circumstances. A really, really big, I think it's a 44,000 uh, stadium, 44,000 seats. And they say it's going to be a, a lot of people coming, so it's going to be interesting. Probably the, the biggest crowd that these players has, uh, have played for. So it's going to be interesting to see them in these conditions. Um, now, uh, now uh, approaching this game, we're just working on the concepts, uh, trying to get them to understand how we would like to work. So maybe uh, at least we, we are working to improve the players in the future. This is the future of Jamaican national team. Uh, there will be no surprises in, in the starting lineup. Uh, we have 18 players. Uh, hopefully, we can we can give uh, most of them some some national team minutes. And uh, but we will see how the how the game will be played. But hopefully, uh, like I said, hopefully uh, the, the the players will have all have some minutes tomorrow. Uh, but it always in the end depends on how the how the game will be played.